Hello, welcome to another video. We're probably gonna break this into two part series, but we're gonna talk about Austin McBroom and his shiestiness, legal criminal activity or alleged criminal activity, whatever you want to call it. Just my opinion, anyway. As always, think for yourselves. You ain't gotta listen to me. Just think for yourselves. But yeah, it may even be three parts. We'll see. Probably just two, but anyways, because this is going to get long, and I'm vocal about my opinions on it, so long-winded, you know how that goes. Alright, let's hop into this, see, see what Austin McBroom has to say. And go from there. Knows anything, right? So the two rumors are Social Gloves is bankrupt, which is cap. It's false. It's not, not true. Everyone that was at the event knows that there's probably like 20,000 people there. Just at the gate alone, we probably made three or four million dollars. So just Damn. that, we're not even talking about pay-per-view numbers. We're not talking Damn. about we're not talking about brand deals. We're just talking about at the event. Keep going. So Social Gloves is not bankrupt at all. Keep going. Okay. The okay. second thing is saying that fighters did not get paid. Yes, fighters have not got paid yet, including myself. But that is because LiveX Live. So let me break down LiveX Live and how Social Gloves works, right? Just in case the fans don't really know how boxing events happen, right? So you got Social Gloves, which is the. Before you do that, you just said Social Gloves made money. Three to four million, which is probably very false. It's probably more like five to ten million. Just my opinion. So, if they made a bunch of money. They're the promoter, right? The promoter is responsible for paying the fighters, just like if you do a concert. They're responsible for paying the bands or the musicians at least a percentage. Not everything, of course. So he's playing this whole don't let your right hand know what your left hand's doing thing. Look over here, you know, let me lead you over here, but this is what's really happening over here. So he's not telling the full story. I call that lying, but some of you may not. That may. It's all a matter of opinion, really. Whatever your opinion lies on lying. <laughs> Wherever your moral compass guides you, you know. So there's one right there that you know live x live is not responsible for paying the fighters they're responsible for paying a percentage of whatever the percentage they agreed upon no one's saying that now austin mcbroom knows that percentage but he's making you think oh it's all their fault <laughs> while holding on to this supposed multi-million dollars, you know, that he made off of the fight. So he's telling on himself. Right there. Yeah. Let's see what else he has to say. Promotion company that put together the event, right, that organized the fights, that put together the event. LiveX Live is a live stream partner. In order for an event to take place, you need a live stream partner. Right, everyone thinks that Social Gloves just did everything. No, Social Gloves partnered with LiveX Live, who live streamed it and collected everybody's money. Right, so the and that's just a part of it. The live streaming is a part of it. Like I said, he made his money, and again, that he stole all that money that he should have been paying them fighters with. He should have at least paid them a little bit, a couple hundred thousand, you know, something to say. Okay, here's some money. Until you actually get paid the full amount. If he was actually, you know, if he cared. If he cared, he obviously doesn't care. He got his money and no one else got theirs. So that's what this whole lawsuit's about. So he doesn't have to pay up from his own, you know, company, pocket, whatever. When really, that's the usual thing. A streaming partner is just an extra benefit. And then you got the 
promotional benefits and the brand deals and all this other stuff. Making money off of all this stuff that only Austin McBroom is making, you know. Well, no one else has gotten paid yet because he's trying to fight it out with LiveX Live and make them pay more than what they should. Which could wind up biting him in the butt. I don't think if if they do settle, it's not going to be what he thinks, and people are still going to get screwed out of money, and he's still going to have that to fall back on. That's why he's not paying anybody anything, because he wants LiveX Live to take the fall. And he'll explain that a little bit more. I'll say his piece on it a little bit more later on. Let's see what else he has to say. The reason why the fighters haven't got paid yet is because LiveX Live has been holding on to all the funds. They have not paid Social Gloves one penny. And that's why Social Gloves is suing LiveX Live. Wow. Does that make sense? Okay. That's yeah. crazy. That sense? Yeah. It's, it's fucked up. It really so is. Could, and, 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 and I couldn't speak on it before just because I didn't want it to be sued. Yeah. I never, I never mentioned LiveX Live not once until today wow. because I was able to now. So what's and, your and message very... to Bryce Hall because he's talking legal action? No, he was saying his legal team is involved. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've been talking with the fighters. Everyone's understanding. They all know the situation, especially Bryce Hall, since he was paid the most. He's actually been with me through the process. He's been hearing conversations. Are you guys he knows, cool and, now? And it, me and Bryce, yeah, we're hella cool. Um, okay. But it's unfortunate because no one really knows the number of pay-per-view buys we did. Okay. Everyone knows how big the event was, right? You got, you got, you got some creators like Logan Paul saying we did a hundred thousand. Obviously, he's gonna throw dirt on it because he sees me as a threat. He's in the same field I'm in, so it makes sense. I'm not mad at him. It's gonna happen, and it's a part of the game. Um, then you got other creators like KSI saying we did three hundred thousand. So no one really knows. Right. We got, on the other hand, we got Gibb, who's one of the fighters that was in the event. He heard we did over two million pay-per-view buys, and that was in the locker room. So how do you authenticate it? You that's know, what I'm saying. Receipts. Exactly. So that's yeah, why the lawsuit receipts. is taking place. Mm. Well, and so through time, we're going to find that. How long do you think it'll take for the fighters to get paid? Hearing from me, straight from me, the fighters will be paid before the next event. Because Social Gloves 2 is coming very soon. Right. As you all know. Yeah. Saying that Logan Paul is in the same caliber as you. Uh, they might be doing the same kind of stuff, but Austin McBroom is super shady. And when there is the next fight, I recommend that anyone who's fighting Austin McBroom put in their contract that you can't have the same refs. You can't have those cheating scumbag refs that made him look like he was a good fighter. And he'll talk dirt on everybody, you know, like KSI and Logan Paul and all that, like he's a better fighter than all of them, when he's not. That dirty dog ref made him look like a uh, kind of all right fighter. But, nah. He stinks. He's an awful fighter. And Logan Paul will wipe the floor with him. That's why Logan Paul said on his podcast, if you haven't got a chance to watch that podcast with KSI and Logan Paul, the Impulsive Podcast, go watch that. I recommend that. It's really long. It's almost two hours, but it's worth it. It's worth hearing their opinions. And you don't have to be friends. You just have to be amicable to work together, so... Anyone who's shady about that or feeling, you know, kind of off about that, it's just business. That's all that is. And that's all this next fight's going to be anyway. And Austin McBroom wants Logan Paul's name, needs Logan Paul's name to make it big. He needs KSI's name to make it big. Otherwise, no one would even pay attention to just a him and Bryce Hall fight or him and you know, anybody else fight. I just, no one would care. He needs those big names to make, you know, all the eyes watch, but 